Hi folks, my name is Ermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of Septera Core Legacy of the Creator. This is a Japanese style role playing game featuring isometric view, turn based combat, and controlling a party of adventurers. Uh, this game resembles uh, Final Fantasy or Grandia games, but it was not developed in Japan but in the United States. It takes place in the world of Septera. Uh, that is a world uh, comprised of uh, layers of continents uh, laying one above each other that are orbiting uh, the planet's core and uh, the core itself is some biocomputer so semi-living organism the whole planet was created by the creator who hit uh, all his knowledge and power into the core and he called this the gift and prophesied, uh, prophesied that uh, one day uh, someone from the Septera world will inherit his power. Uh, the inheritance uh, of this power is done through the twin keys that exist that are hidden somewhere on the Septera world. And if someone obtains them, he has to use them at a certain time once in 100 years the layers are in such a position that the sunlight creates a sunbeam that goes right through the uh, layers into the core and at this time only at this time the twin keys can be used to gain the gift uh, now the most advanced races live on the uppermost layer on the uppermost continent orbiting the core they are called chosen and are um, as i said the most technologically advanced beings and they throw the waste down from their continent and they fell down on the lower worlds and there on the second layer there are living junk scavengers who collect them and uh, you play as one of those scavengers called Maya, that's the girl on the front cover. Uh, now one of the chosen of the race that lives on the uppermost layer, Lord Oskies, a powerful being, decided to get the uh, twin keys and the gift eventually no matter the cost. So he gets into conflict with many people including Maya and uh, first of all, you have to stop Lord Oskies. You have to take revenge on him and secondly, you get uh, into the events uh, concerning saving the whole world Septera. Well, let's take a look at the book's art. Here it is. It's a nice embossed box. Okay, let's flip the front cover and see some pictures and text about the game. Yeah, very nice. Okay, now let's turn the box around and see the back side for some more info about the game and pictures from the game. Good. Now let's open the box and see what is inside. So, first of all, of course, there is the game itself. It comes on a CD, as you can see. On the back side, there is advertisement for Odium, another role playing game. So, inside there was this menu, I will show it as last. Uh, then there is this advertisement, Interplace Most Wanted. So, some reward card. Okay, then there is Interplay Troubleshooting and Reference Guide. So, some technical info.
This troubleshooting guide has been present in many interplay games actually. It is all the same, it is not exclusive to this game. Okay, and the last thing is the game manual that was inside uh, the jewel case. So it has the jewel case format. Here is the end user agreement license and take a look at the table of contents. Okay. Overview, something about the game world, system requirements, installing the game. The player characters. Here is the evil guy, Doskias. Now we get to the gameplay and controls. Some options, actions that you can do in the game with icons. Something about inventory. Items. Shopping. some attributes and secondary stats here we get to combat enemies and some useful hints Oh, nice picture from the game. Keyboard shortcuts. And of course, finally, the credits. Take a look at the people who made this game. On the back side, advertisement for the strategy guide to this game. Good, and that is all that was in the box. I thank you very much for watching this video.